And hello, everybody. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee, and you're watching Open. It's the live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. So you can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Leading things off, on August the 24th, a youth empowerment conference will take place in the Bronx. And joining us with all the details, we have Vice President Ursula Kofi. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Secretary Rene Aflapui. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Organizers Kezia Botin. Give him a big round of applause. Or her a big round of applause. And Ebenezer Nana Harrison. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. King Nana is on the set. <laughs> and all of our queens are here from Ghana, West Africa, right? right. All right. So tell us about your wonderful program. Okay. All right. So um, the, young, uh, the Youth Empowerment Conference 2019, like you rightly said, on the 24th of this month. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a program where we want to empower and inspire many young people, um, especially on their projects or in their career. And most importantly, to get um, their answers, the most pressing questions that they may have, mm. get answered yeah. by people who may have gone through what they hope to be in the future. So that is what we want to do, bring them together. I, to, I like that. Yeah. And I'm always interested to find out um, how people got involved in certain situations and how they've come together to move together in the same direction for a common cause. What made you guys get on the same page? Okay, um, so for me personally, growing up, I, I didn't spend a lot of time with my parents, so I spent my youthful time with my grandma. And so going, looking back, I realized I missed a lot of guidelines and um, like career, choosing the career path and how to identify what I really wanted to do. Yeah. So I had an idea, and then I spoke to my colleagues, I mean my friends, and then they said they thought it was a good idea because Nana also has the same kind of experience. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was good that um, you'd be able to um, discover themselves, discover their strength, yeah. their weaknesses, and also um, helping them to kind of go on the route they want to go, you know. And then thirdly, also to um, kind of empower them to live responsible lives, yeah. especially in this part of Bronx, uh, in New York. And how did you get involved? Well, um, she spoke to me. She said, oh, she had this idea, and she was thinking about organizing um, an annual youth conference so we could involve the youth in our community to empower them, to speak to them, bring resource persons, share their experiences, their failures. Mm. Then, you know, it's have this mentorship. It's always good to get advice from people who have gone ahead of you. Yeah. When they are around and they talk to you, at least they've gone through what you didn't go through, and it helps you a lot to be able to direct your path in whatever career choice you want to go. Okay, yeah. Nana. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you an interesting story. I did, um, I majored in biology for my, uh, and then minored in chemistry uh, uh, for my uh, uh. undergrad. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just because yeah, I... That's what I was involved in when I was a kid growing up. Okay. I had the chemistry yeah, set, I'll, I'll, biology just, and all that set, microscope. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that science was for the smart kids. Right, right. So it's like... But then afterwards, I realized science wasn't really my thing. And that was after college. So then I had to go into the business world. Now I had to go do MBA and all that. Yeah, but you and wanted to find out the origins of things, yeah. right? How did so this I start? How did <laughs> <laughs> I believe How did this that if I had had such an opportunity where I had people ahead of me explaining some of these things to me, I would have probably started with a business route right from the right from onset the and not get myself like going through all the science I never used. So yeah. here we are. So this is a thing that you guys put together where you can help students find out their career path yeah. instead of scrambling around. The quickest way from point A to point B is straightforward, straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So no line, no wait. <laughs> How did he get into it? Oh, so, um, well, when she started it, she asked me, and I was like, wow, I never thought of um, something like that to help the youth because I kind of always thought that I knew what I wanted to do. So a program like this for especially um, my other friends who don't know what they want to do, you know, there's always people that say, oh, how had I known? Like, oh, um, in Ghana, they don't really have that type of opportunity, but now they're here. Yeah. And you're here, you don't want to waste the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So having a program like this with mentors and people that have already been through it, see how he said that he started from biology and now he's doing business, like, 
to help avoid that and move on. And so yeah, that's how I got involved. It's beautiful. You know, being the so, only young person too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a young person too. <laughs> Are you the youngest one up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey. So what resources are you, are you using to um, help students realize their career goals? Okay, um, so we have um, experienced um, resource people. We okay. have health consultants. We have medical doctors. We have career consultants. We have entrepreneurs. So these are the people that are, are ready to come on board, are mm -hmm. ready to uh, speak on August 24th to share their experiences, share their, their success stories in empowering the youth to also know that, okay, so if this is where you want to go, this person went through the same way, so they are here yeah. to help you. So a lot of shadow programs yep. that right. people can shadow people. Yes. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and we have specific topics that we are <coughs> going to talk about. So, you know, sometimes you want to go through a particular route. Right. Sometimes you want to be your own boss. That's why we have an entrepreneur who would be there to tell you, okay, if you want to go this route, that's amazing. If you want to go the medical route, if and then like um, people who have career um, guidance choices, yeah. those people are also around. And then having to network with others, like your, the participants, and do some activities. Who can participate? Who who are you looking for? Oh. It's youth, you uh, youth, ages 15 and up, for well, everybody. Basically. 15 and up? Yeah. Right. So um, just to add to that, there is one particular topic for um, that youth, helping the youth to identify or understand their youthful life right now. So it's going to address um, kind of parent youth issues that we have having currently. Mm -hmm. When teenagers think they are of age, they don't want to listen to their parents anymore. We're going to have a resource person who's going to address that going to um, mm -hmm. kind of um, speak to the youth to know that this is the time you need to learn to gather all um, the experiences you need for yeah. the future. Yeah, so That's we called the adolescent stage. Right. right. <laughs> so right. we're inviting parents, They're growing into themselves. Youth. Am right. I a man? Am I still a child? Right, 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 right. Kind right, of right. flipping so, out a little bit. So the parents need to stick with them every step of the way mm -hmm. because it is a, you've been through it. Everybody here has been through <laughs> right. it. You know, yeah. it can get kind of crazy trying to find yourself at that stage yeah. of the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 15 upwards, parents, students. Yeah. Anybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody. All right. Where are you located? Um, so the venue will be at 1074 Franklin Avenue. We're using the, the premises of Oh, you go to different places too. You, do, you have outreach. Okay. Yeah. You mean the, the venue for the conference? Yeah. The oh. venue for the conference is 1074 Franklin Avenue. Okay. Yeah, but we are in New York, yeah, in okay. the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. This, this is our maiden conference. Yeah. So it's exciting to be here, talk about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping we have annual conferences. So, yeah. Um, What's going to happen at the conference? What are we going to see? So typically we have like uh, resource persons um, s talking, sharing the experiences. We have um, the Q&A sessions where people can ask questions and they can mm -hmm. go about it in several ways. You can either decide to ask it in the in front of everybody or you get a paper you write it down and we just want to make sure that we capture everybody's thoughts mm -hmm. and not to miss out on anything and then the there is also the opportunity to get to meet one on one with the resource persons oh good if, yeah okay. yeah if you think you you had something or you wanted some further clarifications and um, moving forward we want to even be able to pair up some of the participants to some of the resource persons, particularly those we know their interests align so that they can give them tailored uh, guidance. Got it, got it. All right, so people can come and learn a lot from <laughs> what yeah. you guys right. are doing. And then after that, what happens? Is there a follow-up? Yes. Yeah. So we're looking to have quarterly um, workshops, but that will be online. Yeah, so we'll have resource people come in uh -huh. uh, on set. We'll have a studio. They'll come in and then they'll share whatever topic we mm -hmm. give them. They'll talk about career guidance again. That's good. Yeah. Uh, now, now, when you mention online, is there a website people can go to to find out more about what you're yes, doing? Yes, we have a Facebook account. So what? you just go to Facebook. Facebook? Facebook, yeah. So the Youth Empowerment Center on Facebook. All right. Youth Empowerment Center. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Ursula, Aflac Fui, Ebenezer, and Kazia. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, all right? Come back again and share more. Sure, Bring some sure, pictures. Sure, sure, sure. Are you going to Ghana, West Africa? Did you take some of the, the uh, students with you? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Are, there you go. All right, we're gone. We'll take a quick break, come back with more next right here on Open.